justice is blind, they say, unless you happen to be the great-grandson of a guy who became a billionaire manufacturing chemicals like the DuPont family. This is Robert H. Richards IV. He, well, we're just finding out now that in 2009, uh, during his trial for sexually assaulting his own three-year-old daughter, he was given probation. And why are we just finding about this now, Jackie? Because his ex-wife is bringing a civil suit against him for, for punitive damages, because not only did he admit to sexually assaulting his son, or his daughter, he, he also admitted to assaulting his son, but that didn't get charges brought up against him. It's outrageous. It's, it's sad, it's scary, it's disgusting. I mean, for what it's worth, he, he, looks, uh, he looks like a bad person. He looks like he's had a couple of beverages in his Also life. that, also that. You know? Um, why, do you think, why do you think he was just given probation? Well, first of all, he's, he's part of the DuPont family, which is one of the richest five families in the country. This is happening in Delaware. A superior court judge sentenced him because she said he wouldn't do well in prison. Unbelievable. I don't think anyone would yeah. do well in prison. That's the point. Right. You're not supposed to do well. Right. You're supposed to get punished. So it's sort of in between the lines there is he's white, mm -hmm. he's super rich, and he's a child molester. That's a bad combination in prison, and it would be cruel and unusual to put him in that situation. So he, they gave him a plea deal. It's perhaps uh, because they weren't sure they could bring a, a, a case, being that the only witness was the child. Right. So they offered him a plea, which was uh, probation and visiting a counselor. That's a scary thing, right? This is a three-year-old. How do you protect children who, who essentially have no voice, right? right. The three-year-old, the words of a three-year-old can be misinterpreted, mis misunderstood, and, and twisted to work against them. And, and this little girl was traumatized. The, the daughter said this, and she at least had, you know, the, the uh, forethought, you know, she had the presence of mind to come forward yeah. to her mother and say, um, her father told her, our, this was our little secret, but said that she didn't want my daddy touching me anymore. The girl said that her father molested her in the bedrooms of her mother and brother in the mansion. Uh, the wife, the ex-wife, told police that he admitted abusing his daughter, but said it was an accident and he would never do it again. Uh, how is that an accident? I mean, stories like this are, they get me so incensed. What is the accident? Oh, there's my child, my hand, or my, my genitals somehow did something by accident? Getting caught was an was accident. Was the accident, yeah. exactly. I got caught by mistake. Now yeah. I won't do it again. Just please um, let me off. Yeah, whoops, just bumped into her. No, unacceptable and disgusting. Um, it's, it's not unlikely that he may have experienced this as a child, as sure. often is handed down in that way. It's not an excuse. Uh, he was just, uh, it, uh, the uh, attorney, Eugene Maurer Jr. said, it was more than reasonable, it was an enlightened plea offer. Enlightened? Yeah. Huh. We've, we're in the age of enlightenment now. Really? Where we no longer hmm. punish fathers for raping their children if they have a lot of money. Um, yeah. Yeah, the fourth degree rape case is a Class C violent, uh, violent felony that can bring up to 15 years in prison, though guidelines suggest zero to two and a half years in prison, and he got the zero. He did, though, however, he did get some treatment. I mean, if there's any silver lining, as it were, he, did, he was required to get some treatment, right? Yes, okay. that, that was his sentence. Now, defense well. lawyer Joseph A. Hurley said it makes sense to him. Uh, that the, the judge would be concerned about Richard's time in prison. This is what he had to say. Sure, they had protective custody, but that's solitary confinement for 23 hours a day. We're not a third world society. Sex offenders are the lowest of the low in prison. He's a rich white boy who is a wuss and a child perv. The prison can't protect him, and Jan Jordan knows that reality. She's right on. Wow, can't protect them, that's right. The child abuser really is the one that needs protection, not the three-year-old right. girl.
He is a wuss and a perv, and he won't do well in prison. That's Let's、it. set him free. Good、Why? job. So, what do you think? Tell us in the comments below. Was that the right sentence for Dupont, or absolutely not? Remember, like this video and subscribe to the Lip TV.